Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to deploy Windows deployment services like how to configure WDS server and how to deploy operating systems over the network with the help of WDS server. So basically, we talk about the Windows deployment services. So basically, uh, this is a product developed by Microsoft and this is used to deploy operating systems over the network means just suppose if you are working in an organization and you are having more than 1000 computer systems correct so it is not always possible to format or to reinstall operating system on all the system by you know uh, bootable media like cd dvd or pen drive whatever it is okay so for those kind of things like to overcome this situation uh, Microsoft have, has uh, developed this tool, which is called Windows Deployment Services. So if you want to read uh, more, you can uh, read over the, you know, Microsoft official website. So this is just for reference. Now let's come to the practical. So as you can see here, <coughs> let me close this and this as well. This is my domain controller and what I will do I will configure WDS server on domain controller itself. So if you can manage to have separate uh, virtual machine, you can continue with that. It is always good to have a separate virtual machine for separate services. So in my case, it is fine. I'm quite good with uh, this server as well. So first we have to install the roles. So click here on manage, add roles and features, maximize this. Click on next, click on next again. This is our server, IP address 192.168.10.100. And this is the host name, dc.abc.com. abc.com is my domain, click on next. So from here, what we have to do, we have to select Windows deployment services. Click on add features, simply click on next. Again, click on next, next. That is fine, deployment server and transport server, you will be requiring both, click on next. And you can check this box, if uh, restart required, it will restart automatically, click on install. So it will take a while to install that feature. Let's wait for it. <coughs> Apart from that, as a prerequisite to install operating systems over the network, we have to configure the DSCP scope, which I have already configured here. Let me click on tools, DSCP. This is my DSCP scope on the same server. So as you can see, few machines are getting IP address from my DSCP scope. If I click on address pool, you can see like <coughs> I have configured it in range between 10.50 to 10.99 which is my ip segment so this is completely fine so now what i will do let's go back to the server manager as you can see feature installation has been finished now perfect let me close this so now what we did, we have just installed the feature only. No configuration done so far, okay? So now let's go to here. This is complete, close it. Click on the, you can click here as well, WDS, or you can click on start and search for the, where it is, let me type. Windows deployment services, click on it. <coughs> <coughs> so now as you can see, we have to configure this, this is our server. And you can see Windows deployment services is not configured, perfect. Do right click here, click on configure server, <coughs> click on next. 
for sure we are going to use uh, active directory for authentication that is fine if you want to use any standalone server without ad authentication you can uh, continue with the second option but for sure i'm configuring this on domain controller so i will continue with the active directory click on next so here this is a path for remote installation folder so let me show you here i have a uh, 218 uh, gb in my c drive so it is always recommended to have a separate uh, drive for you know to store uh, <coughs> wds data correct but uh, for testing perspective it is fine i can continue with c drive as well so what it will do in my c drive it will create one folder called remote install perfect if you want to uh, change the location you can change from here but i am having c drive only so this is fine what it will do it will create one folder in c drive with name remote install click on next yes so we are going to use dscp server for sure so you must have to check both the options click on next so here we have to configure some uh, pxc settings like what uh, we want like you know Uh, we have three options here do not respond to any client computer respond only to known client computer and respond to all client computer so as we are testing the thing so i will configure it to respond to all the client computers for pxc boot okay so simply click on it or you can always change uh, those options from configuration wizard any time as per the requirement click on next so it is configuring the things Let's wait for a while. <coughs> so as you can see, it has been completed, but the service did not respond to start or control request in a timely fashion. No issue. Click on finish. What we have to do? We have to manually restart the service. Do right click here, all task, and start. After that, you will get one green play button here. <coughs> wait for it. service has been started as you can see this is green now perfect so now what we have to do in this video i will show you how to deploy windows 10 operating system over the network so first we need to configure some boot image and install images okay so for boot image let me uh, mount a uh, windows 10 iso media here okay it's already there it's mounted so what i will do just click on boot image do right click add boot image click on the browse locate the iso media or dvd drive into the sources and you have to select boot.bim so basically this is the boot file open it click on next and let's name it microsoft windows 10 okay <laughs> click on next <coughs> that is fine click on next and now it's adding the boot image okay so it will take a while click on finish so now uh, we have added one boot image right and status is online now we have to uh, install uh, we have to add some install images uh, uh, also so just do right click here add install image and let's uh, name that group to win 10 okay group it should be identical you can name it any click on next now it is asking for install image location so let's uh, browse the path and you can see here install.bim open it and click on next so now from here you can select which operating system or which version you want to publish over the network correct so let me uncheck all and i'm good with windows 10 pro 64 bit okay so click on next that is fine click on next so now uh, right now it is checking the integrity of source install image okay so 
let me show you one more thing in between so if i uh, go to here into the dvd drive into the sources you will get boot.vim file here but uh, when i go to install dot uh, vim where it is so as you can see install dot est file is here the size is around 4 gb correct so <coughs> we have to convert that est file to install dot vim so for the same you what you can do multiple softwares or commands are there but uh, uh, the best software is antilight you can use that software to convert install dot est to vim so what you have to do you have to uh, select the image file here it is win uh, sorry install dot est okay it's already in the list no issue so what you have to do you have to uh, right click here you have to click on convert and est high compression uh, read only correct so the uh, click here and it will take some time to convert est file to vim file and you have to uh, select the path correct so i am cancelling right now but you can use that software to configure to convert est file to dot vim so i think uh, this is also completed click on finish so as you can see here we have added one boot image itself correct sorry install image and boot image for win 10 both correct so now what we have to do we have to check this right whether uh, we will be able to <coughs> deploy uh, the operating system over the network or not so for the same what i will do click on uh, create new virtual machine click on next click on next from here we can select windows 10 that is fine click on next and win 10 win 10 let uh, name it wds because i am having multiple machines in my click on next hard drive i think for windows 10 40 gb will be fine even 30 30 gb is also fine click on next so now what i have to do in customization i have to make network adapter on the same vlan on which my a uh, server is running so my server is running on host only if your server is running on nat you can select nat as well click okay and as you can see i am not going to mount any iso media here why because we have to deploy operating system on this virtual machine over the network close it and finish it so i am not powering on this machine right now before that let me show you something in my dscp scope so as you can see right now let me expand this as you can see right now uh six machines are getting uh, sorry five machines are getting ip address from my dscp scope correct so when i will power on this machine it should get ip address from the same dscp scope right so let's power it on and after power on go to the bios and we have to boot it from network correct so let me select network as you can see boot has been initiated and now it is connecting to our wds server so if i go here and you can see we have just uh, configure the boot images and install images for windows 10 operating system so let's wait for it to respond so as you can see it is now a booting file from that that path like boot 64 x64 images and boot.win it is the same file what we have configured here right into the boot image so so as you can see our os installation has been initiated over the network so if i show you here in this virtual machine settings you will see like uh, 
there is no iso media has been mounted correct so it is deploying the operating system over the network only so let's see what will happen as i shown you earlier we have selected windows 10 pro only correct so only that version will be visible here let's see and in between if you can see here into the task manager so when it will copy the data so you can monitor those things here like read and write speed okay so as you can see english and local is location is us that is fine click on next now it will ask you to enter domain username so my domain is abc slash let me enter the username and let me enter the password <coughs> so it will authenticate the credentials let's wait for it you can see in the into the list only windows 10 pro is here because we have uh, imported windows 10 pro only correct click on next it will show you the disk click on next and now waiting for server it is copying the you know <laughs> windows file system from our wds server so if i go here now operation is not started it wait for it still zero percent let's see now it is has been started so you can see here like this ethernet is utilizing and you can see the send and receive it's 150 mbps per second it is copying the data over the network to this machine so friends now uh, i think we are good how to deploy the operating system over the network with a WDS server and this is a general installation all options will be same what uh, you will get in normal operating system installation correct so the only difference is that we have installed the we are uh, we have configured a WDS server and now we are deploying the operating system over the network with PXE boot correct so Friends, uh, I will complete this installation and we will, I will be there with uh, in new video with some new topics. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.